Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at MyChickenScratch.com and today I'm going to show you my kit that I received at the Stampin' Up! Leadership. It's the My Paper Pumpkin. It's going to be a kit that you receive in the mail every single month and so we were given one at Leadership and I want to go ahead and show that to you. Okay, so here's the box. I'm going to open it up right here and here is your block, your stamp, your spot. This is your welcome kit and so you're going to get, everyone's going to get the same welcome kit, okay? So you're going to get a stamping spot, you're going to get a block, you're going to get the stamps in this kit. Each month the kit will change, but this is your welcome kit, okay? Now I already have one of these blocks, so I'm just going to open this up. And if you have one of these size already, you can give it to a friend. So I'm just going to set that aside. And then let's open our stamp. Here's our spot. This is a basic gray spot. Okay, so here's how it's going to come packaged. You've got your instruction sheet here. Isn't this exciting? I love it. Okay, so here is our cardstock, our embellishments, our envelopes, and the other cardstock. And our buttons. So how about we go ahead and make this first card. Okay so let's open up the instructions and I'm usually better at actually looking at the picture but okay there's a little sticker over here. Okay so here's a little tip for you. I do not cut the sticker on the back so that that way when I open this the lid kind of stays around and I don't lose it. If you cut that then this comes off completely, okay? I like keeping them together. So what we'll do is we'll take one of these, one of these, and this, and we'll set everything else aside. Take out one button. I'm not going to put the sticker on my stamps. You guys know I don't I don't always do that. And what we'll do is we'll take a clear case, our, one of our stamp cases, and we will just start keeping track of these in that case. It'll hold a bunch. Okay, so let's fold our cardstock. Isn't it nice that it's already scored for you as well? Okay, and I'm going to look at the picture. Okay, so we're going to attach this to here at the top. We need to stamp the greeting. So what I'm going to do is stamp that first because if I mess up with the stamping part, well, then I can do something different. So let's test it here. Stamp's really good. I love the font. It's beautiful. I'm always a fan of when you use multiple fonts. Okay, so perfecto. Now we'll attach it. Okay, so we'll take one of these embellishments. This is kind of fun. Stick that there. We'll take one of these. And let's see, let me go this way so I don't mess up. Okay, I put it too high. As long as you don't press too hard, you should be able to peel it back up. And then we've got this piece here. And then you've got your button. Where did I put the button at? Right here. So we're going to attach that with a glue dot. The only thing that doesn't come in your kit is um, adhesive. Okay, so you're going to need your snail and you're going to need your glue dots. Okay, so we're going to attach that right there. Okay, so this is all finished, but I wanted to tell you that this is a brand new program. You can sign up now. It doesn't start till March. Your first kit will ship in March. And you need to let me know when you sign up. The program lets us know when the, when the kit has shipped, but not 
before. So I'd like to share some information with you guys and start a little spreadsheet of who's um, going to be getting these kits every month so I can communicate with you. So when you sign up, just send me a quick email. You can actually forward your confirmation from Stampin' Up! Because once you sign up, you're given access to the website. You choose a password and um, you could just forward that email to me if you want. It doesn't have your password. It just says, congratulations, you've... Um, you're an official member. Okay, and there's one more spot that I did not stamp. As I was looking at the picture, I'm like, I thought that was a little boo-boo on the project, on the printing, but it was not. It's actually the other stamp. It just kind of goes to show that um, sometimes I really skip over stuff. Okay, so I wanted to make sure it was going to stamp well, and I wasn't going to mess up my card. So then now I'll just stamp that there. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.